Facebook. Beatrice, welcome to Business Spotlight. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Such a pleasure to always talk to fascinating individuals doing amazing things in our community. And like I was telling you earlier, you're quite an incredible individual with so much depth and wisdom. Not only are you um, uh, a consummate professional, but what I loved in, in reading about you, you know, and, and um, your journey was is this um, story about how, you know, you're very vulnerable and you share with people you're very real which is i can be an incredible marketing professional and business professional but i can also you know go really deep within myself and be able to help others on their journey as i do that yeah and i totally yeah i mean being vulnerable and being like authentic is really base and key to um to even living a fulfilling life and I feel like we get robbed at every time we communicate in a way that we are not feeling that is not really aligned with who we are. So in every aspect of my life, in my personal and my professional life, I always want to go 360 and being able to be as authentic and um, as vulnerable as possible. I love that so much. Well, your, you know, you talk about your journey and how it, it kind of started when you founded the Mindless Behaviors in 2014. I mean, seems like that was eons ago. After yes. I've been living in, but you really went through a tough transitional phase um, yourself where you really have to kind of come into your own and you even have a book that really talks about the, the journey and the lessons and we, how we can do that as well. Tell us about that. Yeah, definitely. So back in 2014, it was really a transitional year for me. I was working 90 hour weeks. So just kind of like full time. And like, at the same time, I had my, I still, I had my business mirror Inc, which is now a consulting firm. And, and I have like, you know, I was, I just had these different forms of relationships and like my parents were aging and I was just a person that is always the helper. And I spread myself thin and they can't, everything just kind of pour out of me at those, um, at these very moments, I just admit, I reached my breaking point. And I was like, I just need to focus on me. And what, and what happened was, um, I started pouring out like the patterns that I saw within myself and not only that within the environments and like through that breakthrough and through that transition period, I started writing a lot about mindless behaviors and I started unwinding a lot of like discovering the patterns within me and within myself. So it was so, um, what was it, other people? And it was so liberating to actually know that I found my voice and I knew how to articulate it in a way that I wanted to, which informed my consulting firm and, conform, and informed everything I've done moving forward because I had my focus and I had my which is which is which is so powerful and i want to i want to really quickly share this with our audience because it has moved me it says with your book you bring to life thought-provoking viewpoints there are different takes on our usual way of living and approaching problems it will help you unblock areas of your life that feel cluttered and enhance your ability to awaken the god within you Oh, <laughs> I mean, if that is not such an incredible, incredible premise for a book, I don't know what is. Yes, definitely. I, I, I did say that like my birth, my book is more, it's like 360. It's not only could work with you. It's actually helping people become better problem solvers and, um, being not being as overcritical for, with themselves and being able to look at something, look at a problem and sh um, shift that perspective on how they view it. And not only in their work life, but in their, in, in their personal life as well. 
I love this. So what are you hoping to, you know, achieve? What is your, your beautiful, because I know we all, when we start something from that personal way, we always, I think when you go through that period, you really, really want to help others because you understand the, the depth and the intensity of the pain. What is, you know, the highest expression of mindless behavior of your company? Mindless behavior's goal is to break the cycle of reactivity. How we react to certain situ how we react to situations um, without stepping back and really reflecting and reviewing and on self auditing ourselves. So it's not only self realization, but not only that becoming a better problem solving. And I feel like the cycle with these react being reactive, it does cause like violence and it causes habitual cycle that go over and over and over again repeatedly in our lives that is so beautiful you know i talked to whitney who's a financial advisor earlier ah. we talked, about, uh, talked about money and she says it's interesting M money you can have someone who's gone through extreme poverty and they will be so frugal and so good you know good about money because they're they've gone through that period and then they will you will have someone who literally like throws it away and doesn't know what to do with it same situation and how people react that is the key and we can yeah. control that we can we can oh, every that's the root it's like breaking that cycle imagine how many wars we would have saved how many people would have been how many um how many like you know lives that were like really meaningful like suicides if we really step back and really nurture each other and become better and effective communicators and being able to observe how many how many situations could be prevented in that way. So sometimes our behavior leads to things um, having, it starts with a seed and it grows into something really big. So when you're constantly reacting, you're not breathing. You're mm. not seeing everything from another perspective. God, isn't that what we need right now? <laughs> <laughs> with, with all of us, I feel like sometimes I'm walking on eggshells because we're all just, you know, waiting to react. And it's such an incredible, such an incredible lesson for today. So do you, I'm curious, um, on your website, there's really not a way, I know you had create events, but there, do you work with people personally on something like this? I do, I do have my events, but like a lot of it is integrated in my practice. And next year I'm going to have more of like 2023 is going to be full of mindless behaviors, um, experiences and different workshops that's going to be targeted to different corporations. So I do have that, but, um, as far as one-on-one, -on -one, I don't do one-on-one -on -one with mindless behaviors. It's more of like events and community um, engagement. So I do have a lot of initiatives and I feel like the more connected we are, the more we can be better problem solvers and break the cycle of reactivity. Amen. And you are quite an entrepreneur. Your company, <laughs> yeah. Mirror Inc., has been just uh, a, an, a, almost like an establishment in the community from the people that you have worked with uh, to the, the people who are recommending your work. Um, it has morphed, so it started more with the focus on the brand, and now you're doing mostly business consulting. Tell us about that a little bit. So yeah, Mindless Behavior started as a production company, and like we, as event production, so I've done events and like do production, and then it morphed into a business consulting firm, which what happened was I noticed that a lot of people have a lot of marketing campaigns, but as the smaller business and entrepreneurs, they're their business strategy and development wasn't all together, which, you know, when you have your business model and your strategy informs your marketing. Mm -hmm. So everything is all interwined. So what I do is help my clients move from reactive to reflective in their business. And, uh, I, I love oh, yes. that. and then we that build is... sustainable plans so they can produce results like not plans. They're very practical, tactical and acts. They're really actionable. So, and keep them simple. So they will not, uh, so they can be very efficient. And I think that that's what's missing within the small business um, community and a different, you know, and an ecosystem is being able to think of their business differently. And so that's one of the things I provide. 
what a great tagline for the world that we live in from reactive to reflective you know interestingly i talk i spoke to mike Patton, who is the he used to run the eos um uh, uh company and he's just such an incredible he worked with um the author of the traction uh gina wickman and he said we talked about like why are so many people feeling like you know like they're losing it in the business world and he said because they haven't had the time to be reflective and take the time to plan out for for you for their business and i'm like and and there's no better time than right now to do that right right there isn't so and what you know as you are doing this with people what if, this is a great question because so many of us are like oh my god we're hearing the worst is yet to come the recession all of these things so what would be your advice for for um for some of us who feel like we're really, really scrambling in our businesses because we have not been reflective. So shift gears. Look at your di look at your business differently. If you step back from it, and like you, most of the time people have a natural circadian rhythm. They have a pattern, right? So you're only doing one thing really well, and and you have different versions of that one thing you're doing well. So if you can focus on that one thing you're doing well everything will be fruitful mm -hmm. so like and then like you can be able to you can be able to grow so like a lot of people a lot of businesses are not stable and rooted into what they're doing because once you have that clear vision you can you can grow like a tree you mm -hmm. can only, you can evolve isn't that beautiful? I love that analogy. That's so really powerful. So where can people find you? Where can people, of, uh, you know, in what, in what ways can they work with you? In what ways can they connect with you personally or professionally? Yes, um, I do have a LinkedIn. It's my name, Beatrice Adenoti. I also, you can follow, um, you can follow me on Instagram at at bbworld01.com. And also, mirrorinc360.com i have all my um all my services and what i do there and as well as my book i love that beatrice thank you so much for taking the time i just realized that i mispronounced your name i said beatrice but it's beatrice no <laughs> i love not. that it's such a beautiful name i love that thank you so much for taking the time uh folks you're watching this what I love about these conversations, even today that I've had, is that how brilliant these individuals are. So if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you go follow um, uh, follow her anywhere you can find her. And then also we're going to share this on the podcast, YouTube, and everywhere else where you can find us off in, um, in social media world. Thank you so much. God bless you. And I wish nothing but, but the great success come your way. Yeah, thank you for having me. Such a pleasure. Such a pleasure. I'll talk to you very soon. All right. Bye. Bye.